Welcome back to Onion Shop Joe. And today we're going to talk about the UL2 DEF system that's got the smaller vertical pump, not the big square box pump. And on that pump there is a relay that drives it. And if that relay is not able to activate when the key is off to send the DEF fluid back to the tank where it came from, then we can have freezing damage in the lines. Well, one of the things that can cause that is if there's a battery switch and the um, operator shuts the key off and then immediately shuts the battery switch off. And we re recently had a service vehicle that the um, operator drove it every day all week. And on Friday, he would reach down and shut the battery switch off because he didn't want to have the batteries powered up over the weekend. So they would get uh, pulled down because there was various devices that drew on the battery. They were fine overnight, but over the weekend it'd be hard cranking on Monday morning. So he would shut the key off and reach down and shut that switch off. And then every Monday when he started up, he had an active fault code that would go away after he did a couple key offs during the day. So he stopped in and we took a look at it and figured out that the fault was caused because he was shutting the key off and then shutting the battery switch off prematurely. It was a big enough deal that a, a technical service bulletin was written about it. It applies to anything really that has a battery switch and it doesn't matter what system you have. When you shut the key off, you need to leave that battery power turned on for at least two minutes. And that gives the system time to pull all the def out of the lines and send them back to the tank. Remember, at about 11 degrees Fahrenheit, def hard freezes. The pump and those lines were not designed to take that expansion rate of the def. The def tank, which we all know is a plastic tank, was designed to take that. So it can swell and it'll go right back. It won't crack. Part of the design of the system. So let's take a look at what happened with this fault code. So here we have a schematic and right here we have the after treatment dosing relay that we're talking about. And the yellow block shows the circuit that this fault is related to. And if you look down to the, the insert of the fault codes, 5867, which is in yellow, has 15 counts. It is an active. And the description is voltage is below normal or shorter to low. And there's a service bulletin out on this and that's listed below TSB 170085. And uh, that particular bulletin addresses PACR chassis. And we have a lot of service trucks that are PACRs and the newer ones have a battery kill switch right by the seat. And this particular unit that these faults were in uh, the technician was running a truck home and he'd jump out. And if it was Friday and he wasn't going to be in the truck for the weekend, he would turn it off so that his batteries didn't pull down over the weekend. They do have inverters and some other things on the trucks and they have, uh, you know, some systems that pull power. So he would shut the batteries off when he got out of the truck. And then when he'd key on and start it on Monday morning, he'd have an active fault code. So this went on and he finally stopped down and we took a look and this is what we saw, this fault code. And then we went in and looked and found this bulletin and we discovered that basically what happens is that relay has to be powered up by the ECM for a couple minutes so that the ECM can have that pump reclaim the DEF fluid. Well, when you shut the battery power off, Everything goes to sleep, the ECM goes to sleep, but it knows that it wasn't able to recover that fluid. Uh, it, and it doesn't understand that fully, but it does understand that that relay didn't work and it drives this fault code. So this was the cause in his case of the problem. He was turning that switch off too quickly. Normally he never shut it off. So we advised him to wait an honest on your watch two minutes. I always tell people that because if you tell me to wait two minutes, I'll wait 30 seconds and that seems like five minutes and I'll flip the key off or whatever and it's not two minutes. So, so that's important. 
is fault and remember fault numbers sometimes change but uh, the basic description or the or the function or action of the of the fault in the software is generally the same across these systems and this is the UL2 system uh, you can tell see that by the uh, the fluid dosing pump it just got four wires going into it and um, down below I've got a check for the relay and the relay uh, this would be the pin 86 and 85 on a 12 volt system should be somewhere between 30 and 130 ohms and 24 system, volt system 200 to 400 ohms and that's again pin 86 to 85 the driving uh, coil that turns that relay on now this is a big enough deal with the battery power being turned off prematurely by prematurely I mean the ECM has not had the full uh, two minutes to go to sleep after the key's been shut off. That's a big enough deal that in the features and parameters, we can see in a circle by the green, there's a parameter called battery power required lamp. And it's disabled by default. Uh, it can be turned on by the OEM if they, if they choose to. And you can run a wire from the ECM plug out. And I'm not sure if this can be multiplexed. I'd have to look into that. But you can run a wire out to a to an LED that would be by the battery switch. And once you enable this uh, battery power required lamp, once you enable that feature, if you click the plus in front of in front of the small to red toolbox on the left of it, you'll see some options. And, and the option is uh, lamp stays off until battery power isn't required or lamp stays on until battery power isn't required. So depending how you set that logic, it changes the behavior of the LED that the operator would have to look at before he shuts that battery power switch off. And this is a quick picture of a machine that actually has a battery powered switch with a LED next to it so that the operator does not turn the batteries off before the ECM has a chance to properly power down and properly drain the desk system. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe. See you soon.